Hello there, this is Amanda Wilkinson of Amanda Wilkinson Tarot. It is Monday, July the 17th, July the 19th, 2021. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, glad to have you. Hope you enjoy your stay. If you are one of my subscribers, thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it. If you're watching me on Instagram or Facebook, if you could go to my YouTube channel and like, share, and subscribe, that would be fantastic. Thanks. If you would like a personal reading, please message me. Um, I can be reached on Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube. How's everybody doing tonight? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself. I hope you're taking care of the people that are important to you. And I hope you know you are beautiful, you are gorgeous, and you deserve, you have that star inside of you that you need to let shine, let shine. Let's cut the deck. So general reading. Well, every, uh, not everything is going to resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And there is no gender in tarot. Spirit. Six of Swords. Six of Swords. Yes, this is kind of the theme you've been having lately. <clears throat> moving away from choppy waters. You're moving away from something that no longer serves you. And you are moving to something better. This is swords, air energy, talking about truth and communication. Truth and honest communication. Something was no longer serving you, you're moving on. Uh, swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Queen of Cups, the Queen of Love. Hmm, are you the Queen of Love? Or is the Queen of Love somebody else? Queen of love, she is loving, she is compassionate, she is caring, she is the queen of love. Um, it looks like she is almost um, casting a spell. She's got her cup in front of her. She is the queen of love. Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So, are you moving away from something and moving toward the queen of love? What is consciously known? Page of Swords. Oh, stalker. Yeah, you know, there's somebody watching you. You know what I say when I'm thinking about stalkers? I say, you know what? I'm great. I'm living my best life. If you want to watch, you go ahead and watch. That is the kind of attitude that you should have when you're dealing with stalkers. Let them watch. Live your best life. You are beautiful. This is the this is the pages are messengers. So this is a um, um, message of communication. Doesn't sound right. Anyhow, <clears throat> yes, this is a stalker. Let them look. You know you're great. Unconsciously known. Page of Cups, we have Pages are Messengers. Um, this is a message about love. You will receive a message about love, um, maybe from the Queen of Cups. Love message. I like this page. Recent past, Page of Pentacles, three pages. Hmm. Page of Pentacles is a uh, money offer. Uh, pages again, messengers. This is a message about money. We have our stalker looking at your messages and looking at your what you're doing. Then we have a message of love, and now you have a message of money. Like money. Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That was in the past. So did did you just get? Did you get? Did you recently get a message about money? Near future, the lovers, the lovers. Here we go. Gemini energy. 
the lovers mm. queen of cups mm. where do you find yourself two of wands two of wands um this is fire energy two of wands talks about waiting uh being indecisive um you've got i think you've got a lit um some kind of idea about which way you should go because this wand is over there in the corner and she's holding this wand and she's got the globe and she's got a book so maybe you are contemplating which way to go wands are fire energy aries the sagittarius but i feel with you holding the wand and looking out you are waiting for something external influences ace of wands a passionate new beginning i've been seeing this passionate new beginning coming up for you a lot i like it i like it wands are fire energy aries leo sagittarius ace of wands a new passionate beginning with your lover hopes and or fears the ace of swords um so you've got truth communication and clarity this is a um, new new communication um, new truth um, it looks like she's got this stairway going down 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 and it looks like that the stars at the bottom shining up so new passion new truthful communication overall outcome the moon the moon um the moon has a black wolf and a white wolf howling at the moon um she is under the water and looking up this is about secret lies and deceptions this you found out something didn't you you found out something i know you did that's why you're walking away this has been your theme um she is underneath the ground the water and when she comes up she will have her truthful or he the truth is going to come to light uh let's get another card on the moon let's get another card on the moon please knight of cups oh the knight of love yeah yeah Maybe is that your lover? The Knight of Love? The Knight, the... The Knight and the Queen have a little bit of an age difference. Knight is... Younger. Maybe the Knight sent you a message about love. And now the Knight is coming to... Um, give your heart a little... A little bit of a uh, thump, 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 thump. Romantic, loving, caring. Knight of Cups. Bottom of the deck. Three of Cups. Talk about happiness, joy, fulfillment, reunion maybe. Um, there's a big dipper and these three figures have their arms around each other. Cups are love, water energy. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Five of Swords. Oh. This was a toxic relationship. Um, this there was lying, there was cheating, there was dishonesty. Um, the truth was not told. The truth was not told, which is why that you were looking at, that you want you're hoping for honest communication. I believe you've got the honest communication. So, lying, cheating, eight of wands, though, passionate new communication, been seeing this, new passionate offer, new passionate communication, wands are fire energy, Aries Leo Sagittarius, so this is new passionate messages, or there could be a distance between you and this person. I talked about a little bit of an age difference and maybe there's a physical distance 
the Knight of Pentacles. Oh, we've got another Knight, the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is a very, very slow moving energy. Um, he's the Knight of Money. His, hor his horse is walking behind him. Knight of Pentacles, step by step by step by step. They have a solid offer. It's just going to take them a long time to get there. Knight of Cups is a little bit of a faster energy. And we have the Hangman. The Hangman. Caught between a rock and a hard place. Dark Knight of the Soul. But something's coming to blast you out of a hangman's tree because there's your star over there. Maybe it's a Knight of Cups going to blast you out of your tree. Or maybe your lover is... Maybe your lover is the Queen or King of Cups. You know more than I do, so we have the, we have the three page, the three pages, which are younger energy. We have the Knight of Cups, Knight of Love, and the Knight of Money. We have the Queen of Cups and the Lovers. The king or queen of cups. Could be your lover. Could be your lover. But your lover is coming. This is near future after all. And having the knight of love here. I like that. A new start is coming. The new moon. Yep. New passionate, new passion, new truth. New passionate messages. Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. I think you got that last night. And the energy is gain, gaining momentum. Waxing moon. All right, so I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call it this. The lovers is in your future. You know, got the ace of the new passion, new communi honest communication, new communication. I love it. I love it. I love it. I hope you did too. Have a great night. I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye. This is Amanda Wilkinson.